There was a man who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his temple for 60 years. So a woman uh, came in his presence and he started to develop an attachment to this woman and he ended up committing zina, ended up committing adultery with her and he stayed in that state for six nights. So the narration actually explicitly mentions that this happened for almost an entire week. Now what happened to this man as he came to that realization? Whenever these people of taqwa, people of piety are seized by the shaitan for a moment, a day, a few hours, a week, suddenly they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْصِرُونَ And their eyes are wide and they're paying attention now. And they say, how did this happen? How could I have fallen like this? And so the man, as the, as the narration continues, that after he committed that deed, he ran away. But where did he go? So where is that man going to go? Did he go home? Did he go to, to a friend's house? No, he went to another masjid, which is a very smart move. He understood, لا ملجأ ولا منجأ منك إلا إليك. You don't escape from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he took residence in that masjid for three days and he did not eat anything for three entire days. It's not that he was starving himself. It's that he was so immersed in his repentance that he was not even eating or drinking, crying over what he committed for six nights, begging Allah for forgiveness. So some people noticed him in the masjid. And so they brought to him a raghif. They brought to him a loaf of bread that the man took that, he broke the bread into two pieces. He gave one half of it to someone on his right, one half of it to someone on his left. And the man continued to immerse himself in seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At that very moment, at that very moment, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Allah sent the angel of death in that moment to him and took his soul. So he died in the masjid in a state of repentance, the place where he started. But the narration gets really, really interesting in the end. And by the way, it's a Sahih narration. Sahih al-Imam al-Albani was Shaykh Shakir. It's a very powerful narration and it's an authentic one. Listen to what he continues to say. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put his 60 years of worship on one side of a scale. And Allah put that six nights of adultery on the other side. The six nights were heavier than his 60 years of worship. But then what happens to him? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ثُمَّ جِئَ بِالرَّغِيفِ Allah brought forth that piece of bread and then put the bread on one side of the scale with his six nights of sin, فَرَجَحَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ And so the raghif, the bread, outweighed his six nights of adultery and entered him into Jannah.